Hello everyone, I thought I'd take a look at some new satellite imagery of both Sevastopol Naval Base and Nova Rossisk. Now, the imagery from Sevastopol isn't too clear, but it does show some interesting things. This is from March 31st and is shared by MT Anderson on Twitter. So first up we have Section A. Both the Ivan Kurz intelligence ship that was hit by a missile and the Rapua, which I think was the Azov here, are no longer at Pivdena Bay. The Azov, if you remember, had a hole in its rear and possible damage in the centre that was covered by netting. The Ivan Kurz was also hit at the rear, and if you remember, had to be supported by a second boat pressed up alongside it to stop it keeling over. Neither of these two appear at the frigate pier, which is section B. However, M.T. Anderson says the two Krivak frigates are there. Now, the last batch of satellite imagery we looked at from Sevastopol, one of the Krivaks was in dry dock at the time. Well, that was clearly just for minor routine maintenance, as it's now left dry dock and is active again. Section C is the ammunition pier, where a repeal was targeted with scorch marks appearing on the deck nearby. That one was a miss. Now, I have access to EOS's satellite imagery as well, which isn't very clear, but it lets us see a bit more areas of Sevastopol Harbour. First, here are four floating docks of various sizes. This imagery is again from a 31st, by the way. Number one, a smallish dock, a length of just 70 metres, too small for the Ivan Kurz and the Rapua class ships. That one appears to be empty. Number two is a big one, 200 metres or so. This is the dry dock where we once saw a Krivak class frigate in the last satellite image we looked at. This can hold Rapua's and the Ivan Kurz, but you can see this one is empty as well. Number three can hold the Ivan Kurz and the Rapua, it's big enough for them. This appears to be occupied. Now this is the dry dock seen here, where we saw a Rapua being guided to shortly after the attack. So I'd say this is the same Rapua still here. It's impossible to tell for sure, but it certainly looks to be a case. So one Rapua is in dry dock at the moment. The final one is very small. I believe that's the Putin class dry dock. But to be fair, we do have to account for shrinkage in the cold water. This one, I can't tell if it's empty or not, but it's much too small for the Ivan Kurs and the Rapuas. The other dry dock at Sevastopol is here. This is occupied, but this is a civilian ship that's been here for a while now. So, of the ships attacked by Storm Shadow and Neptune, one of them, a Rapua, is in dry dock. One is still in its spot near the ammunition pier. That's quite interesting. There is a dry dock free, but it hasn't been moved into it. But I am surprised that Russia is just keeping it there in the same spot where it was attacked. It's possible that between the attack and these images, that it has moved around a bit. Maybe they even went to the now empty dry dock to undergo minor repairs, assuming it did get some damage from the near miss by Storm Shadow. Or it could be that the damage is actually quite severe, and it can't be moved yet. It's also possible that the big dry dock is actually damaged and can't support a large ship or repair them. Going back to this old satellite image just after the attack, you can see markings on the dry dock itself. Some said this was a missile impact. I thought at the time that it was just old scuff marks and old oil and scorching from repairs and unrelated to the storm shadow strike. But could it actually be signs of damage? If so, it could be why this dry dock is empty and that neither the Azov, the Ivan Kurz, or the ship of the ammunition pier that had a near miss were moved here. Well, I can't tell for sure, but either way, it seems that two ships which were hit are unaccounted for. So, where is the Rapua that had a hole put into it, and where is the Ivan Kurz? I can only assume they may have been dragged to another port for repairs, where Russia thought they'd be safer. So, let's check Nova Resist satellite imagery to see if they appear there. So we have a pretty stacked Novo Rusisk, including some harbour defences we saw to protect her base from marine drones. We saw these being installed a week or so ago, and it seems to consist of barges with a sort of boom strung out between them. Highlighted on this first image is an Admiral Grigorovich class frigate with a floating crane nearby, likely being resupplied. Three Kilo class submarines are in the subpen. There's also a decoy one painted on the dock, which isn't going to fool anybody. 
there's also a Vishnu class intelligence ship. Here, the second Grigorovich class frigate, an Ivan Gren landing craft and an alligator landing craft. In the corner, this is quite interesting, we can see another Kilo submarine. The Black Sea fleet had seven of these, however, the Minsk was destroyed by a storm shadow. The Nova Rusisk is in a shipyard in the Baltic undergoing repairs, the Krasnodar is in the Mediterranean. So, just four are active and available for the Black Sea Fleet, and all four of them are here in Nova Rusisk. This is interesting because one of them, the Alrosa, was typically kept at Sevastopol, even after the other three were evacuated to Nova Rusisk out of the way. So it seems now that all four are hiding in Nova Rusisk, out of fear of a nation without a navy. I guess even Russia now doesn't trust its air defence systems to keep its important ships safe, as all of the important ones, the one that can launch calibre missiles, are now at Nova Rusisk. None of them are at Sevastopol. The other platforms used to launch calibre are the Grigorovich class frigates, which we've already seen, and the Bui MM corvettes, which we'll see a few of very soon. As well as the Kilo, we can see one of the Bui MMs here, as well as two Project 2216 patrol ships. Final image from the top two Karakur class corvettes. One of these is also in Sevastopol, usually guarding the entrance to the harbour. These two aren't in active service yet, but are currently undergoing sea trials. We can also see, near each other, two more Buyan Emmas. Russia has four of these, so one is unaccounted for at the moment. It may be at Theodosia, as we've seen it there in the past, or it may be out at sea. Another 2260 is here, so all three 2260s are accounted for. The fourth, the Sergei Kotov, was sunk in early March by Ukraine. These are large patrol ships, so these carry out protection of the Crimean bridge and shipping there and escort duties. But since one of them, the Sergei Kotov, failed to defend itself from marine drones, I don't think they'll be very good at the job. Now the Rapuas. Three Rapuas are seen here, and we saw one, remember, at Sevastopol, near the ammunition pier. And one, likely in dry dock, at Sevastopol. So four are accounted for, possibly five. The Black Sea Fleet had three originally, the Yamal, the Caesar Kunikov and the Azov. The Kunikov was sunk by Ukraine. They were also sent six, the Minsk, the Nova Chikask, the Korolev and the Kaliningrad, the Georgi, Pododonets and the Olenogorsky Gorniak from both the Baltic and the Northern Fleet, giving us a grand total of nine Rapuas. Remember, the Nova Chikask and the Minsk were also destroyed, so we should have six remaining. So three are here, one is still at the ammunition pier, and one very likely in dry dock after being attacked. So there's still one Rapua still to be accounted for, which I assume is the one that sustained damage near the Ivan Kurs. We don't know where that is, I'll check another dry dock later. First, just to finish off this image, we have a Dugon class landing craft, two Natya class minesweepers, and a Grisha and Alexandric class patrol boat. Relatively unimportant ships, which will be providing escort duties near Kerch, guarding the Crimean Bridge. So where exactly are the Ivan Kurs and the Rapua? So, let's check Nova Assist's dry dock. And I may have found you, you saucy minx. There is a ship here, roughly measured at being 95 metres long. The Ivan Kurs is 95 metres long. So at first glance, this is a fit. However, and I hate to be a buzzkill, but 19th of March, before the attack, we can see that same ship is in dry dock. So, whatever this ship is, it isn't the Ivan Kurs. So the Ivan Kurs and one Rapua are still unaccounted for. I don't know what this one in dry dock at Nova Rusisk is. It's possible these two may now be in Theodosia. However, I don't have satellite imagery from there to be sure. They could even be in transit between Sevastopol and Nova Rusisk, being tugged slowly because of the damage caused to them. They may even have been towed outside of the harbours and hidden safely somewhere along the coast. We are going to have to wait and see when they appear and where they appear. I'll do an update when we get more information. So, that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. So, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Before we finish, I'm just going to play a video from Yori and Sanaf. 
shown the Pajero, which we raised in a recent fundraiser, about to go on a mission. And it's worth a quick look. Thanks very much for watching, and take care, everybody. Все, автомобіль виїжджає для виконання бойового завдання в районі. Нам би ще побільше б таких машин, якщо можливо.